So we cruised on down the Harbor Freight, picked up one of these, uh, the small size truck cranes. So with a 20% off coupon, this thing comes out to 80 bucks flat with tax included. I mean, it's hard to argue with the price of some of the stuff you get down there. I mean, for what it is, this thing's pretty beefy. It's got about a 3 8 inch thick base plate on it. So I've read all the reviews online, and they're mostly positive. The biggest drawback is basically how you bolt this thing into your bed there. It's just bolting into the sheet metal along the bottom. And they give you some reinforcing, you know, pieces of angle plate here to, you know, try and beef it up from the underside. But I'm just going to cut straight to the chase and do it right the first time. We're going to make this framework and then run down over and have a bolt-on plate that actually goes into the, the frame of the truck itself. So that's the corner of the bed where we want to put the crane. And there's where we wanted to mount that subframe. So there's not really a lot of room and there's not a nice space on the frame to connect anything to. So as usual, plans go awry. So what we're going to do is use the angles that came with that kit and use the existing bracing that's underneath the bed to help strengthen it. And if these couple pieces of angle aren't enough, at least we can always kind of tap into these and weld in some support gussets. So we trimmed off the uh, one leg of the angle there to get this to sit up really close to the pinch weld on the uh, bed. Also drilled a couple extra holes here. We're going to mount two of them on the end here to the base of the crane and then uh, one or two out on the end of the leg as a support. So we ran that back angle along the rear pinch seam of the bed and ran this angle up along that seam because that's the strongest part of the sheet metal bed you have and if this isn't enough we can run another brace from up on that angle through that bolt and over to the frame So after we failed on the first attempt, this is what we got to do to kind of brace it up. We welded the two angle pieces together that go back to the corner of the bed. And then we need a stringer to run from this mounting base over to the frame of the truck. That's what's going to give us the whole stability to keep this thing from wanting to rock in place on that spot of the bed. Now there's about a million ways you could try and accomplish this. Ideally, you'd want to actually run this bar across the two frame rails so that it doesn't teeter-totter on one of them. It's bolted down tight. So that's going to be the sub-base that's underneath the bed. And the frame is going to be about right here that we're going to bolt down through the bed, uh, through that cross member, and through here to the frame. Now I was tired of having to keep trying to put those nuts on there, so we just tacked them in place. So it's real easy to bolt it in from the top side now. So in the end we ended up using that right angle piece of framework. So we've got the angle iron there. We've got a couple of cross braces that run over to the frame. Now ideally you kind of want to run this and continue that beam all the way over to the other side of the frame to really give it some strength. But I found that having just a couple of these supports running over to this uh, top of the frame right there actually beefed it up quite a bit. If you don't have a very structurally solid bed to begin with you're definitely going to have to keep this frame beefy under here to handle the weight of the crane. It does indeed work, but there's a few issues. One of the main things being, this truck sits fairly high, and the stroke that you have, you know, the amount of lift on this, even when it's the full way out, is basically just a hair more than the height of the truck. So if you have it on the low setting, you can lift it from the ground almost up to the, uh, above the tailgate. 
at that point I say you basically have to throw a ratchet strap on there and use it as a little bit of a come along to get that extra bit of lift right off the bat. So we're going to perform the 200 pound gorilla test. Now it's out on its furthest setting. That's me bouncing on it. Doesn't move much at all. About the only way you're going to be able to use the lower settings on here, well the higher rated settings, is at the pull the tailgate off. But honestly, you're most likely always going to have it out here that's for the setting just for you know convenience and reach so I'd say it legitimately can handle at least 500 pounds out here at this setting you really try and overload it you know we may start seeing some more flex on that bed at that point we'll have to rework it beef it up a bit more maybe run that one cross member the whole way over to the side but like most things in life never enough time too many projects to keep moving on to so this will get used as is for now. We'll see how it does.